In this video, we're going to walk through the steps to install an additional polling engine and connect it to your main Orion platform server. Before you get started, you should first ensure that your Orion platform environment has been fully updated and, of course, double-check the system requirements to make sure your new polling engine server will be up to its task. You should also gather the SQL Server details and credentials for where your Orion platform database is stored as you will need them later. Log into your customer portal and look for the additional polling engine package, then download the latest version to the newly created server. Run the additional polling engine installer. Enter the IP address of the main server, then click Next. Specify the new server's role. You can choose between additional polling engine, additional website, or high availability for your main server or additional polling engine. For this demo, let's choose Additional Polling Engine. Specify the destination folder, then click Next. The Setup Wizard will now run tests against your system to help ensure that it meets all the requirements. It will alert you to any potential configuration problems that it finds. For example, if your server does not meet minimum specs or you are trying to install on a domain controller, the installer will block and prevent your installation. The installer could also find warning issues, such as not enough CPU or RAM. In this case, the installer will warn you but not block the install. You can choose to cancel the installation or continue, knowing that server performance may be affected. If you don't see any warning messages, that means your system passed all the tests with no issues. Read and accept the terms of the end user license agreement, then click Next to begin the installation. Once the installation is complete, the configuration wizard will start automatically. When prompted, enter the information for the same SQL instance and SQL database that was chosen for the primary server installed on the Orion platform. This warning message is to be expected. Simply click OK and then select your database from the drop-down menu. Click OK. And click OK again to select your SQL account and enter your password. This is a necessary step, so click Yes and then Next to start the configuration. Click Finish to complete the installation of the additional polling engine. Once the configuration wizard is complete, your additional polling engine is ready to poll, but you'll need to configure it to determine what it should poll. If you want to move a number of existing nodes over to your new polling engine to balance the polling load, navigate to Manage Nodes and select the nodes you want to move. Use the Change Polling Engine option from the drop-down menu and choose the polling engine you would like to move these nodes to. You should always exercise caution when making changes like this, because there may be firewalls or security defined on your nodes or the network path allowing polling communication only from the main polling engine. Make sure any environmental adjustments have been made before migrating your nodes. With an additional polling engine installed, you'll also have the option to run a discovery specifically from that engine. You'll notice that in a multipolar environment, you have the option to run the discovery from the polling engine of your choice. To activate your additional polling engine license, navigate to License Manager from the Orion Web Console. Click Add Upgrade License. Enter your activation key and registration information, and then click Activate. If you would like any more information about additional polling engines, visit support.solarwinds.com.